There's still a lot of unknowns about this virus. But if there's one thing I do know, this virus did not catch Heavenly Father by surprise. Even though this pandemic is not what we wanted or expected, God has prepared His children and His church for this time. In a way, we're seeds. And for seeds to reach their potential, they must be buried before they can sprout. The love of God and the blessings of the restored gospel of Jesus Christ will bring something unimaginable to spring forth. The righteous are not given a free pass that allows them to avoid the valleys of shadow. We all must walk through difficult times, for it is in these times of adversity that we learn principles that fortify our characters and cause us to draw closer to God. Our Heavenly Father knows that we suffer, and because we are His children, He will not abandon us. God will watch over and shepherd you during these times of uncertainty and fear. He knows you. He hears your pleas. He is faithful and dependable. He will fulfill His promises. God has something unimaginable in mind for you personally and the church collectively. A marvelous work and a wonder. Our best days are ahead of us, not behind us. Focus on the things you can do. And you'll listen for the guiding word of the Lord and His prophet to lead you to safety. With Christ at the helm, things will not only be all right, they will be unimaginable. We might have been so tied to traditional approaches that it took a pandemic to open our eyes. We are now learning how to use a variety of methods, including technology, to invite people in normal and natural ways to come and see and come and help and come and belong. 